A user needs some custom host connectors. I've got a Tinkercad technique, so let's get cracking. Of course, we're going to start with Create New 3D Design. I have already done that, so I'm just going to click Tinker This to bring mine in. Really quickly, this uses three awesome shapes. This one is called the Bent Pipe. Check out the parameters. I'll show you how those work in a minute. This is a combined set of tubes. It also has parameters. And then finally, we've got one over here that I have grouped. I will ungroup it again so I can show you the high resolution cone. Friends, let me show you how these all work. First, I'm going to hit delete. And then I'm also going to make my world bigger because this user had a large project. So I'm going to make mine up to 400 by 400. This is a little larger than my largest printer, which is 300 by 300. Friends, with our world set large, let's find the part we need. It is called the bent pipe. If you type bent, I highly recommend making it a favorite so it's easy to find and then bring it out in your project. Now you need to know your parameters. The user, the user asked for a wall thickness of five and they wanted the inner pipe width to be 125. So if we're going to take away five from each side, we want this width to be 135. That'll take away the 10 so that it'll fit the way we want. You can adjust the arc diameter and the bend angle. You should print a tiny section of this to make sure your printer is coming out the way you want. You may end up having to scale that a little bit because every printer is a little bit different. You can adjust the lead in and lead out. I am going to leave these the same. The next part was at this end, it needs to transition to a different size. We're going to do that with a new, with another shape called the high resolution cone. All right, so now that we've got the cone, let's cruise it out on the edge of this shape. But then I'm going to tell you to click down here to cancel that. And we're going to put the work plane out here by pressing the letter W and clicking that. What that does is it makes the top and the bottom match where we expect them to be. So right now, just to show you, I'm going to type 40 and press enter. And then I'm going to make the bottom, which will be touching right here, the 135. And press enter. Notice it takes a moment to snap into place. I'm going to make the wall thickness 5, just like the rest of our project. Keep the resolution. And then the part the user wanted out here needs to be 100. So this one will slide in. Now notice we've got an error. This is a math error. So the part has an issue, but check it out. If we just change this to a number like 45, bingo, you can find a number that works. Friends, just like that, we've got our part. Let's line it up. I'm going to hit W for work plane and put it back to the normal plane. I'm going to select the two of them, do L for a line, pick the purple one as the boss, and we want it to snap all the way to this edge, and we want it to be vertically all the way to the bottom. That part is now lined up just the way you want. It transitions from the 125 inside to what's going to be 100 on the outside. We're going to build that with the tube. You can simply cruise the tube out just like this. Once again, we want a wall thickness of 5. And now we need to type the radius. Well, the radius is half the diameter, so we need to type 50 and press Enter. I'm going to make the sides maximized. And I'm going to extend this out so it's a bit longer. You can pick whatever number you want. I'm going to just put 40. I'm going to simply select the two parts using Shift Select, L for a line. I want the green one to be the boss. And I want to choose the middle align and the middle align. Bang! That is snapped into place. Now here's an advanced trick. We're going to do Control D, move this piece out a little bit. And let's give this new piece a bevel of two and press enter. That'll make this so it slides on easier. And I'm going to do control G to group those two parts. How slick is that? Friends, same trick over here. Cruise your tube out on this end. Notice I missed. I'm just going to delete that and cruise it again. Cruise it right on the flat piece. Let's type in our parameters. Remember, this one is 135. So we need to go to the radius and do half of 135. If you need to bust out your calculator, you can. I'm going to say 67.5 and press Enter. I'm also going to type a wall thickness of 5 and press Enter. And let's maximize the sides. 
I'm going to put the work plane back on the ground. W for work plane. Select those two. L for align. Let's click on the purple one. And once again, we want to come out to this edge. And we also want it to line up to the top. Bam. That is completed. Stretch it out as far as you want. Now, because this one has the pipe sliding in, we do not have any use for the extra bevel trick that we used out here. You may find that you want this to be quite a bit longer so that you've got more area for your part to enter. Let's quickly taper the inside of this as well. Control D, Shift Nudge, rotate this 90 degrees. Now, if you stay inside that circle, it's 22 and a half degrees at a time. If you hold down shift, it's 45, which makes that really quick. We're going to align this. Simply select the two, L for align, and we want to choose center and center. Now we just need to change our parameters so that it touches, and we also need to make it a hole. And then we can simply nudge this in till it lines up the way we want for cutting. I'm just going to use 130 and 120 for these measurements and see how they work. That is going to trim it. Let's see how it looks if we select those two and do Control G to group. There we go, a slight taper, so it should be easier when we try to connect it. Friends, right there, that's how you can use the bent pipe the high-res cone, and the tube to make wicked cool exhaust vents in no time. Friends, as I wrap up, I want to say thanks to Kevin for the question. Absolutely love projects like this. I also want to thank my supporters on Patreon. Love how that group is growing. Don't forget, it also has a comments area where you can ask for future designs. Finally, friends, I want to thank you for watching this video. Don't forget, every time you give a like, share a video, add a comment, or hit that subscribe button, you're helping HL Mod Tech get just a little bit bigger, which absolutely makes my day. Finally, friends, have a glorious day and keep tinkering.